Hey guys, it's Sharita, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to go glam for the night with just a few simple steps. So this is my everyday makeup look, really neutral, neutral lip, kind of brown eyeshadow, but with just a few applications of eyeshadow and lipstick, it's gonna look completely different. I'm gonna start off with this Kat Von D palette, and I'm gonna start first with this color right here. It's velvet, and I'm gonna apply it to the outer corners of my eye in a V shape. Okay, so once you're happy with that shade blended into the corner, you can go in with a different brush, pick a bright color to put in the center. I am gonna pick this color here, this purple one. Since I've been using purple, I'm gonna be a bit more adventurous and not use a purple glitter. Super brave today. I'm gonna use this tinsel color, which seems kind of a bit like a foresty, shimmery green and just apply it right in the center. There we have it, a shimmer right in the center of the eye. Here you can see that. And then I'm gonna go in with this little thing and it's the Gimme Brow by Benefit. Just take a little bit of it, make sure to wipe the excess off because you don't want clumpy eyebrows. That's the worst. And then just lightly brush them. So after doing the eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with my black kind of felt tip eyeliner. I don't want to do too much, I'm just going to kind of stay as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, there we have it. Done with the eyes, almost. If you've been wearing makeup throughout the whole day, you're going to look a little bit tired, especially in the under eye. This Laura Mercier concealer is like a lifesaver. I use the one in SC4 and just get a bit of the yellow toned concealer just to brighten everything up and kind of highlight your eye makeup. Time for some shading. I'm gonna go in with my Illamasqua shader, which is super cool. It blends in with like all skin tones. And just put that, like just one simple line there. And then another line just here. Go in with some MAC bronzer. I don't know how YouTubers do this like showing thing. Like it just flops and it just looks super clumsy. There we go. Take a bit of it. I'm gonna blend that upwards. Just on top of the bronzer, on the apples of my cheek, I'm gonna go in with some NARS, Love Joy. I can smile a little to get those cheeks out and popping. Kinda of creepy, huh? Our last step is the lips, and some people might think I'm going a bit overboard by using so many steps, but I use a MAC lip liner, and then I use a MAC lipstick, and then I also use Kat Von D on top of it, like as a full three-step lip kind of thing. Covered. Now, this is Marrakesh. Okay, so it's all on my lips now, except for the final step, Kat Von D's bow and arrow. You know how Kylie, before she told everybody that she had done some lip injections, she was saying she used liner and just put loads of lipstick on? That actually really works because I feel like my lips look so much thicker now that I've used liner, lipstick, and liquid lipstick on top of it. It just is a little bit more 3D. So this is pretty much the look, but if you want to take it even extra extra, you just use some glitter and put it on your bottom lash line. Okay, so that's the full look. Hope you guys like it. The glitter really takes it over the top, but you know, it's fun. Now I'm gonna go get changed. Okay, so there you have it. I'm magically changed now. That was super fast. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my getting ready for a night out video. Some super easy glam tricks with the eyeshadow and the glitter. But I gotta go now because I don't have a watch, but I assume I'm very, very late now to meet my friends. So uh, that drink's waiting for me. See you guys.